Good morning, good evening, hello guys, it is I, Tubby King, and welcome back to another video. This is our first 2K20 WWE Raw for the TKWF Universe mode. Now we have an interesting show plan for you tonight, and it's going to be an amazing one. So, But first, I hear that Adam Cole has to come out here and wants to talk to me specifically. So let's hear what he has to say. You know what? Undisputed Era, you seem to think you own this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you all in matches. And they're going to be against opponents that I think you're going to have fun dealing with. So, let's kick off the show with Roderick Strong's match for the night. Now, I may have set a GM to run these shows, but I still am the owner of the TKWF. I still am the boss. So, if Adam Cole and his Undisputed Era think they can demand matches, I'm going to deliver. And I'm going to deliver to the crowds. Not to them, but to the crowds. <coughs> So, Roderick Strong, the first member of the Undisputed Era tonight to have a match. As I just explained, I'm going to give every single member of the Undisputed Era a match. Well, Roderick Strong will have a singles match, Adam Cole will have a singles match, and then Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly will main event the show in a tag team match against a, ta a brilliant tag team of my choice. So it's going to be an interesting show to see how that works out for them because I'm keen to see how these matches are going to play out because I've got some really good stuff planned and well here's Roger Strong's opponent for the night the newly debuting Matt Riddle to this TK universe and he's just kicking things off straight away. Already onslaughting Roderick Strong. Well, to be fair, I, I did say that... Um, I did say to the people that I, I rostered on to verse the Undisputed Era here tonight that I wanted them dealt with. So, I guess this is Matt Riddle's way of... Dealing with the Undisputed Era. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm not complaining. Th this whole whole reason is to try punish the Undisputed Era. And unfortunately, Roderick Strong started in the fight back. Now, I try to be unbiased with my commentary. But when they attack me, they attack the boss. And... I am the boss, so I'm trying to teach them a lesson. Oh, what's Matt Riddle doing? He's trying to get a chair, but the, the timekeepers are saying, no, you're not getting our chairs. So, 
Unfortunately, Roderick Strong saw that he was going for a chair and ran into the ring. But, oh my god, a Canadian destroyer. What? A, and he's going for the cover already. Here we go. One, and a kick out at one. I saw that happening. This match has only just started. You're not going to get a, a three count straight away there. Matt Riddle, you're going to need to try harder. But, <laughs> Matt Riddle's come in looking <laughs> to take no prisoners in his debut into the TKWF. Probably not happy that he wasn't chosen in the uh, in any of the Elimination Chamber matches. So <clears throat> he's looking to prove himself here and given the chance against Roderick Strong. That's exactly what he's trying to do here. Roderick Strong starting to fight back now against Matt Riddle now. I realize it just said now twice there, but... Ref already calling one and they haven't even gotten to the full outside of the ring yet. Seems legit. Now he's calling one again. What was the point? <laughs> I don't know, but Matt Riddle fighting back. Going to the top rope now. This is an interesting showing. Oh, well, what's he doing? Oh, well, he went for an axe handle, but missed. Roderick Strong is going for the stairs now. Does he realize this is a no DQ match? And a uh, nice suplex there from Thing. And I think Roderick Strong's head clipped the stairs there. That has got to hurt. Obviously, if it was someone other than Roderick Strong, I'd probably care. <laughs> but, oh, a running city-out powerbomb there from Matt Riddle now. And Roger Strong with the reversal rollout, but this is a not a false count anyway match. I don't know if these guys realize that this is a not a no false count anyway match or not. But apparently not because they keep taking it to the outside. Oh, and a knee to the head there by Roderick Strong. Then a kick to the back there. Picking him up. Punch to the face. Oh, but Matt Riddle reversed after that strike combo now. Now he's just taunting Roderick Strong. And a kick to the head. And a power... Well, a power slam. At a German suplex. And I'm not sure what that move is called, but he's going for the cover here. One, two, three. And that riddle has eliminated, well, not eliminated, but has beaten Roderick Strong here tonight. He did exactly what I did and proved Roderick Strong wrong in the fact that they could make Raw undisputed. <clears throat> But that was a brilliant match, even if these guys were fighting outside the ring uh, a fair bit. But, you know, congratulations to Matt Riddle making his debut on the TKWF and getting a win over on it. Um, an amazing debut there for, for Matt Riddle. So congratulations to him. He seems to be doing great things in this universe, and I can't wait to see what else he's got. Oh, well, what's he doing now? What is he doing? Oh, he's going under the ring for something. Is he going for a chair? Well, what's he doing? And he's attacking Roderick Strong with that chair now. The weakest chair shots I've ever seen, but they are chair shots nonetheless. You know what I'm going to do? 
Um, since these guys want to use weapons and battle outside the ring, next week they're going to have a hardcore title match to de declare our first hardcore champion in the TKWF. I was going to wait till later on in the series to do this, but it's getting introduced next week. But for now, let's move on to something less undisputed. Something that I'm actually keen for. These two came to the general manager and I um, while we were talking and brought this to our attention, so we decided to allow this to go ahead. So Rey Mysterio and Akira Tozawa have decided to have a friendly best of three series. Um, if um, So they want a best of three series and if they, they're going to have one match this week, one match next week, and if they're tired by the end of next week, then they're going to have the third match at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. So we decided to allow that to happen. And this is the first of the three seri uh, the matches in the series. So it should be interesting to see how things play out. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see how, how it goes. So yeah, Kira Tozawa being the um, opponent for Rey Mysterio, as I said, they both want a friendly best of three. They promised me that this would not lead into a rivalry of any sort, and that no matter who wins, that they're going to shake hands at the end of it. It's just a bit of a friendly rivalry to showcase what they have. Rey Mysterio promised me that he's put his Lucha R Warriors days behind him, and he's you know back to his regular self now. Tozawa um, didn't seem too much of in 2K19. I think he had like a fleeting feud with uh, Finn Balor at one stage over the IC title. Um, but other than that, like we didn't see too much from him. So should be interesting to see what these two have got. Um, you know, as I said, this is just a friendly best of three series. They want to see who. Who's the better of the two, and want to see who can win the best of three. And, um, surely enough, you know, myself and the general manager thought, this is a great idea. So why not have it go ahead? And, you know, unlike the Undisputed Era, these guys didn't demand that this happen. They asked us if, um, it could happen and we we said you know what's a good idea let's let's have it go but but yeah unfortunately um the undisputed era uh all my bad books already oh well, what's the Zawa thinking here and oh a suicide dive between the second rope what an amazing maneuver there. Looked like Ray kind of hurt his shoulder there. But the, these guys are fighting outside the ring. And they need to get in, into the ring because you can't win a best of three on a draw. It just doesn't make sense. Oh, we got a submission going on here. Will Ray tap? No, he rolls out very easily. Oh, and a nice spinning Hurricane Runner there. Oh, and a nice spinning heel kick there. Going to the top rope now. Oh, and a nice double leg drop from the top rope. Rey Mysterio is taking the offensive back in this match. He was just allowing... Allowing Tozawa to, to get his hits in. Oh, he's gone to the top rope again. What are we going to see here? Oh, went for a missile dropkick, but Kira Tozawa must have known where he was going. Oh, but he did a running dropkick while Tozawa wasn't looking. 
And, oh, well, he went to knock Tazawa off. Oh, what did Ray do? I think he expected Tazawa to stay outside the ring, so he went to do a suicide dive, but Tazawa rolled in. So he missed. So, unfortunate um, for Ray. He ended up hurting himself with that move. Hopefully not too much. Alright, missed a drop kick there. Granted, these guys haven't wrestled in a few months since the end of the 2K19 series, so they, they may be a bit rusty. Oh, here we go. We know what's going on here. He's going now. The 619. Could this be it? And he's going to the top rope now. Oh, well, we know what's going on. Tozawa's getting up, though. It looked like Ray was getting ready to do a frog splash, but Tozawa started getting up. But West Coast Pop. West Coast Pop, here we go. One, two, three. And Ray Mysterio has 1-0 in this best of three series. Can Tozawa tie the series up next, next week on Raw in this best of three series to lead to the third match at the Money in the Bank? We don't know, but we'll have to find out. Um, best of luck to him because you know these guys put on a brilliant match just uh, just then, and I would love to see how they they put on a match next week, especially with Tazawa got more on the line because he needs a win to progress in the series. So it it'll be an interesting an interesting series uh, of matches. But for now, let's move on to Adam Cole's demanded match. He has requested that the Undisputed Era have matches tonight. And you know what? I am obliged to give it to him. Well, I'm not obliged, but, you know, I want to give it to him. Because I want to punish him. Because I've chosen someone especially special for Adam Cole here tonight. You know, Adam Cole acting all cocky as the leader of the Undisputed Era. Even though, if you consider the fact, he hasn't got the, the best win-loss record in this universe, uh, in the, the TKWF. I mean, he is a former Intercontinental Champion, which he won the title at WrestleMania in a, uh, in a Battle Royal. Oh no, sorry, he won the, the Intercontinental title at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, and then lost it at WrestleMania in the eight-man battle royal. So, yeah, he doesn't have the best track record so far. So, it'll be interesting to see how he does in, in this match, especially against the person that I chose. Because the person that I chose is has been devastating in the TKWF. And um, I've come to an agreement with this guy. So let's see how this plays out. Because as you can tell by the music playing, it's The Undertaker. More specifically, the American Badass Undertaker. So... Anyone who watched my 2K19 series will know The Undertaker is famous for um, injuring his opponents during their matches, um, taking EC3, Andrade, Cian Elmas, and Bobby Lashley out in the 2K9 series, um, uh, 2K19 series, sorry, and also was the hardcore champion for some point. Adam Cole's walking around. I don't know what he's trying to do. Well, he just punched the Undertaker. Undertaker just punched him back. And then the Undertaker's going to finish his entrance now. <laughs> I don't know what Adam Cole was going for there. And Undertaker went to punch him off again, but just missed. He's both gone to hit each other. Keep missing. So yeah, as as you can as I just mentioned, 
Undertaker is known for injuring his opponents, having injured, as I said, EC3 at WrestleMania, Andrade the next Raw after, and then Bobby Lashley at the Velocity pay-per-view, where he beat um, Bobby Lashley to win the Hardcore title. Or was he the Hardcore champion before that? I don't remember. But then he lost to Finn Balor in a ladder match, which is when we had... Um, unified the Intercontinental and Hardcore titles together. So, the fact that I'm bringing the Hardcore division back, um, could we see The Undertaker in the Hardcore division? Will he make an impact like he did last year? It will remain to be seen, but first he's going to get through Adam Cole, or should I say Adam Cole has to get through him. Because Adam Cole has been putting in some work here. Oh. Oh, and a Shining Wizard to the back of the head there. I don't know if he's got a specific move for that or not. But that has got to hurt. Shining Wizard to the back of the head. Though I don't understand why he pulled the, the knee pad down for the knee that he didn't use the Shining Wizard on. Makes no sense to me. Well, what's he doing here? Does he think he can make it across that ring? Oh, well he can with an elbow drop. Going for the cover now. One, two, and a kick out of two by The Undertaker. That is not nearly enough to keep The Undertaker down. Oh, here we go. Trying for a dirty pin here. Two, and a kick out at two again from The Undertaker. Undertaker is not going to be beaten by a dirty pin here, Adam Goal. But Adam Cole getting dominant with his strikes here. That's basically his, been his strategy this entire match is just strike The Undertaker down with speed so that he doesn't have a chance to um, keep beating him down. But he's taking time to taunt. That could go wrong for him. And it did. So. So. I don't know. Undertaker fighting back now. He's kind of pissed. And Adam Cole back to the, the fast strikes and the speed over the brawlerness of The Undertaker. That makes no sense, but he's using his speed over Undertaker's strength. And oh, Undertaker missed a, fr a punch there and tripped. And now he's grabbed Adam Cole. What will Adam Cole do now? Oh, and a nice spine buster there from The Undertaker. Adam Cole rolling out of the ring Trying to get away from The Undertaker now. Undertaker pulling him straight back into the ring. He knows exactly what he's trying to do. And Adam Cole knows exactly how to get away from him. And Adam Cole... Oh! A neck breaker there. I've noticed Adam Cole is targeting the head of The Undertaker here. So... Oh, and another Shining Wizard at the back. Actually did use the knee without the knee pad this time, I believe. So, goes for a pin, but a rope break. Surely Adam Cole would be smart enough to know that a rope break would occur if he pinned The Undertaker that close to the ropes. Seemingly not, though. But, I mean, hey... Who am I to judge Adam Cole's decision-making skills? Now Adam Cole with the punches now. Adam Cole's just targeting the head of The Undertaker, and I have no idea why. 
Oh, what's Adam Cole doing now? He's going for a chair. Steel chair? Really, why would you go for a steel chair? Are you really going to revort, resort to beating the Undertaker down with a chair because you can't beat him in a match? Because that's what it seems like you're doing, Adam Cole. And thrown outside the ring by the Undertaker now. Now Adam Cole fighting back again. Another strike to the head. This is not going well for The Undertaker. Well, I don't know what Adam Cole's deal is here. Oh, he's going for the chair. What's Adam Cole doing? Like, he could have the match won here. He has The Undertaker down. All he had to do was... Oh, uh, and... I gotta agree with the ref, that's a disqualification there. And... The third Shining Wizard to the back of the head. Well, Adam Cole will have to answer for why he, um, he assaulted the Undertaker with chair here. Um, I think it's just because he felt he couldn't win the match, but, you know, what do I know? All I know is that, um, yeah, uh, there's going to be answers, and I will be talking to Adam Cole, um, because I'm not happy about that. Um, we we did have to carry the Undertaker back uh, with the ref's help um, because he had suffered so many head injuries. So we will keep you updated in the next few weeks on the Undertaker's condition and whether it is a serious one. But it did seem kind of serious after that. After Adam Cole left the. Um, the EMTs came out and checked and like we, we needed to carry Undertaker backstage. He was that out of it. It may be a concussion. I don't know. But for now, the main event of the the evening, as I said, um, Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly um, will be firsting a tag team of my choice. And as you can tell by their music, it is the Authors of Pain. Now, again, if you're familiar with the 2K19 series, the Authors of Pain were practically undefeated for the entire run. I think they only just lost to the War Raiders, or now the Viking Raiders, um, right at the end of the series. But for the most part, they were dominant. Like, no team could touch them. They were destructive. They were reigning tag champs. So I'm going to declare here the winner of these matches or the winner of this match will go on in two weeks time to verse Heavy Machinery in a number one contendership match for Breezango's Raw Tag Team Championships at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. So Heavy Machinery has got, got to watch this match and study to see who their opponents could be. Because sure enough, it's going to be one of these. And then also Breezango has to watch the number one contendership match because their opponent will be either Heavy Machinery, who they've already beaten, or either the Authors of Pain or the Undisputed Era, if they can beat Heavy Machinery as well. So it's going to be an interesting perspective to see how that goes. But we have Bobby Fish starting out. Against Akam, I believe, or is that Razor? I actually, no, I believe that's Razor. I don't know. I don't know how to tell them apart. I'm apologizing. I apologize. I had the exact same issue in 2K19 as well. <laughs> 
So, I, it appears I was right. It is a calm that is up against Bobby Fish right now. And Bobby Fish doing a good job of keeping a calm grounded. And already tagging in Kylo Riley now. This could be a smart strategy. Keep a calm grounded. Keep the fast tags in so you two stay fresh. And he gets beaten up. You know, don't want him tagging in Rezar because that ruins your entire plan. Because then you got to redo it all again with Rezar. So... Um, we've never seen anyone try this strategy against the Authors of Pain. Normally they just try to fight them head on in a, in a wrestling match and they get out wrestled, so... It's an interesting perspective that the Undisputed Era have here. And um, so far, we've seen Roderick Strong lose. We've seen Adam Cole be disqualified. Can the tag team of Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly win to at least give the Undisputed Era one match? Oh, and a nice lifting Spinebuster there from Razor. Oh, sorry, a, a calm. I apologize. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, we look like they were getting ready to do a tag team move, the Offers of Pain, but uh, Kyle O'Reilly stopped it. Not good as Razar's tagged in, but Akam had to roll out, and Kyle O'Reilly just going straight for the, um, for the method of keeping them grounded so that they can't fight. They both missed a punch there, and now Kyle O'Reilly going back to the offense now. Up to the top rope, nice elbow drop there, goes for the cover, this is not a good idea, and a kick out before the one count. <laughs> kick to the back now from O'Reilly. And kicks to the chest while holding the arms, that has got to hurt. And oh, he kicked the calm off, then punched him off. And now he's targeting Rezar again, taunting when he should be keeping him down on the ground, but picking him up, this is not a smart strategy here. Oh, a nice snap suplex rolled into a pin. Here we go, one, two, and a kick out at two. That is not enough to keep Rezar down, unfortunately, for the Undisputed Era. <clears throat> oh, and we got a submission move coming out of Kyle O'Reilly now. Could we see... Oh, well, we almost saw Rezar tap there. If it weren't for Akam coming in to save him, he may have tapped. But now, O'Reilly tagging in Bobby Fish again. Bobby Fish going straight for the downed Razor now. It was particularly weak. Punch to calm off. Now where's he going from here? Kick to the face there. And here we go. One, two, Three, and the Undisputed Era just beat the Authors of Pain. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching Monday Night Raw. Well, Thursday Night Raw, I guess. I will see you tomorrow for SmackDown. And um, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe and bell if you want more content from me. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Good afternoon, good night, and goodbye.